in this video we're going to derive the median of a geometric distribution and this video is part of a playlist that I call mean variance moments mode of distribution and there's approaching 80 videos in that playlist and of different distributions so the geometric distribution is how many trials needed to get one success you know with P equal the probability of success and 1 minus P the probability of failure so if we let a random variable x follow a geometric distribution with parameter p and density f given by f of x is equal to 1 minus p raised to the x minus 1 times p, where p is, of course, between 0 and 1, and x can take on the values 1, 2, 3 to infinity. A quick definition or review of the median. The median M is the value that satisfies the following two equations. And a note that the median does not need to be unique. In the continuous case, it is unique. In the discrete case, it doesn't have to be unique. But the M that satisfies both of these equations, any M, is a median. So the probability that X is greater or equal to M, greater or equal to 1 half, and the probability that x is less than or equal to m is greater than or equal to 1 half. That value m is the median. So let's apply these definitions to the geometric distribution. So first, definition 1. And then we'll look at the probability that x is greater than or equal to m, which is the sum of the density from m to infinity. p is not part of the index. We take it out front. And then this is a geometric series that starts you know at m or m minus 1 and so there's a, a distinct formula for that and there's plenty of videos and websites that have that formula but this is it and then the denominator is just p and that cancels with that and then we're left with this so this is the left side of this inequality so this implies so if we put one, you know, this over here and then back solve for M, we get this inequality. M is less than or equal to 1 minus the log of 2 divided by the log of 1 minus P. Now, notice that this log of 1 minus P is between 0 and 1, which will create a negative number. And then, the, and then with this negative numbers, it makes it positive. So let's look at the second criteria that X less than or equal to M is greater than or equal to 1 half. Oh, that should be canceled there. <laughs> Did I do it in the same? Yeah, an extra equal sign. So the probability that x is less than or equal to m means we're summing from 1 to m of the geometric density. p is not part of the index, so it can be taken out front. This is a partial sum of a geometric series, and it has a specific formula, which is this. And of course, the denominator and this p cancel. We're left with 1 minus p raised to the m. Now, we know that this is greater than or equal to 1 half. We can, we, and then we can back solve for m. So m is greater than minus log 2 over log 1 minus p. So hence, m is between these two quantities. So this number and, and 1 plus it. And so m is the integer in between those values so thus the median is the integer between the values so m can be set to the ceiling of this value here now note that the these brackets are the ceiling functions so it's the it's the largest integer or it's the smallest integer greater than this value but notice that if this value is an integer then one more than that is also an integer. So M could be either of those values. So if that quantity is an integer, the median is not unique. And then to find all P such that M is not unique, let's just set this lower bound equal to some integer K and then solve for P, you know, where such that K is, is one, two, three, it's an integer. 
and then you can back solve for p and you get p is equal to one minus the kth root of one half so if p is one of these values then the median is not unique so all right well that's all i have for this video hopefully you enjoyed that i sure did please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one thanks bye